It's keyboard time again, or keyboard and mouse time again. This is the Kidtronic Color Keys by Keytronic from 1995. A very colorful 101 key enhanced PC keyboard with a matching two button clickmate mouse. I'm actually the original owner of this keyboard and mouse set. I got it as a gift back when I was a kid in the 90s. I can't find much information about this except for one New York Times article from April 1995 which bemoans the lack of computer equipment in anything other than shades of beige, gray, and white and it briefly mentions some of the more colorful computer accessories and components that were available back then including a Logitech mouse that was available in a wood grain finish and this Keytronic Kidtronic keyboard and mouse set. But I can't find anything else about it except for one eBay listing of somebody who's asking $300 for it. It originally came with a matching mouse pad, which I no longer have, so I just substituted something that matches the overall color scheme. And it also came with a colorful cardboard frame to put around your computer monitor. It was only designed to fit 14 or 15 inch CRT monitors, and since I thought it was even more gaudy than the keyboard and mouse, I got rid of it a long time ago. But otherwise, that was it. Surprisingly, this did not come with any games or educational software. The only software you get was a mouse driver disc, which you probably didn't need anyway. This version came with the large 5-pin DIN keyboard connector and a serial mouse. I don't know if they had a PS2 version of this or not. I suppose they would, but again, I can't find any information about it. All I can say is that I don't remember this coming with PS2 adapters. But since these were the connectors my computer used at the time, I did not need any adapters anyway. You may have noticed some discoloration, especially around here and here. That's not dirt. I just cleaned this thing pretty thoroughly. It seems like the plastic is discoloring with age, even though you wouldn't think colored plastic would do that. It's especially noticeable on this edge, although I don't know how well it's coming across on the camera. But the blue plastic is almost kind of turning greenish along here, although you can see under the shadow here is the original blue color. So this part and this part is this colored, but that little strip there is the original vibrant blue color that this would have been when it was new. And it seems like the mouse is not actually discolored compared to the keyboard. So maybe you can tell the difference there. And I don't think Retro Bright would work on this. I don't know if it's ever been tested on colored plastics. And I'm not willing to be the guinea pig on an item that's potentially worth $300, at least according to that one eBay seller. Here's the information sticker on the bottom of the keyboard. The model number is E03601ELKID. So it's part of Keytronic's 3600 series of keyboards. And surprisingly, it says Made in USA. Another surprise for a keyboard from 1995 is that it is XTAT switchable. There's the bottom of the mouse. It's the Keytronic Clickmate and it is a ball type mouse. If you're familiar with these Keytronic keyboards, it should be no surprise that it's just a standard rubber dome keyboard. Although these Keytronic keyboards are definitely better than average in terms of their typing feel for a rubber dome keyboard. Although the quality of the printing on the keys is definitely not the best. You can see some of the more heavily used keys, like these arrow keys, have started to rub off. But you big enter key fans will be happy with this keyboard. You do get a small backspace key, but that's never been a problem for me. It just encourages you to make less mistakes. And I believe this is the only keyboard I have which actually spells out numbers lock, instead of just shortening it to num lock. And here's one of the systems I used this keyboard and mouse with back in the 90s. I won't go into too much detail about it, but I'll briefly pop open the cover and show you what's inside. The CPU, RAM, and hard drive have been upgraded over the years. Inside is a PC Chips M919 motherboard. This was called a VIP motherboard because it has three types of slots. Visa Local Bus, ISA, and PCI. This motherboard was infamous for having fake cache chips. It has two chips on it which say right back on it, but the traces going to them just go in circles. They don't go to the rest of the board. And PC chips hacked the BIOS to make it look like it has external cache installed, even when it didn't. But you can say this one has a genuine cache module installed, giving it a real 256K external cache. The CPU is a Cyrix 5x86. 
120 megahertz rated although this version is running at 133 megahertz because some of these Cyrix 5x86s have an unofficially supported four times clock multiplier which I have enabled. I have 64 megabytes of RAM installed a Western Digital Caviar 1.6 gigabyte hard drive a 3Com Etherlink 3 Ethernet card ISA Sound Blaster 16 and a Visa Local Bus Western Digital Paradise video card. It has one of the noisiest three and a half inch floppy drives I've ever used. It's made by Chinon. A TIAC 1.2 megabyte five and a quarter inch floppy drive and a 32X CD-ROM drive. So let's turn it on. Here we are in the much hated AMI Win BIOS and unfortunately it looks like the mouse has lost its horizontal movement. I'm moving it all around and it's only moving up and down. I can still click on things but I can't move it side to side. I know it's not a problem with the computer because if I plug in a different serial mouse I get a full range of movement and everything works like it should. So something's wrong with that Keytronic mouse is only moving up and down, it's not moving left and right. But at least I can do a typing test of the keyboard. It's a very quiet keyboard. And the feel is rather mushy as you would expect for a rubber dome keyboard, but I've certainly used worse. And for a keyboard aimed at kids, it's not bad. There was one screw hiding under the label holding together the mouse, so if that removed I have it open. And as I move the mouse around you can see both of the optical sensor wheels are moving. So mechanically it's working fine, so the problem is either with the infrared sensors or this circuitry or maybe this cable. But now that I think about it, the fact that the vertical direction of the mouse and the buttons are working fine proves that the cable is not the problem because this is not sending raw XY values to the computer, it's sending serial data. So if there was a break in the wire, then nothing would be getting through to the computer instead of just the vertical direction and the buttons. Well, I took out the board and I cleaned the infrared LEDs and sensors, and now it's working perfectly. As I move it around, both horizontal and vertical movement is now working fine. So, I've never had a mouse before where it required taking it apart and cleaning these sensors, but I guess there's a first for everything. It now has perfect movement in all directions. The buttons work fine. Right click, left click, everything works. Now I'm all set for playing a game of Pyramid Solitaire. I lost because I need an ace and there is none in the deck. So you can't win them all. So that's the Kidtronic by Keytronic color keys, keyboard, and Clickmate mouse from around 1994 to 1995. If you want something similar to this without spending $300 for this on eBay, the company SIIG or SIG or however you say it had something very similar. They called it the Fun Touch keyboard. It's basically the same color scheme except the numeric keypad is purple and you could find a whole bunch of those on eBay. It says more than 10 available so I don't know how many they have but they have quite a few and they're asking a much more reasonable $34.95 each 
for those keyboards, although it does not come with a matching mouse.